And Rotary Lights 2021 officially ending last night. This morning, the taking down of over 3 million lights underway. WXOW's Roger Staffaroni was there for the beginning of the loadout. It's a wrap. The 27th year of Rotary Lights is concluded. This morning, volunteers willing to brave the cold were on site and lending a hand. Today we have about 100 uh, volunteers in the park. God bless them. I mean, it's a, a, a bitterly cold day, especially coming off the river, but everybody seems to dress for it and it's welcome to Wisconsin. Here we are, so let's get it done. Getting it done in 2021, but not without some challenges along the way. Back in October, the discovery that power cords were damaged by vandals with a price tag around $10,000. That hurt the heart uh, at that point, but uh, we recovered from that. Uh, so many nice people that came forward to help out and get us restored. Then Mother Nature unleashed some devastating winds in mid-December. But the next day, the community was at the park to help. You know, we have the most amazing core group of volunteers that anyone could ask for to have everyone show up after that windstorm and be able to piece everything back together to open the next night blew me away. This morning, New Year's Day, more of the same. Work to be done, volunteers ready to do it, and more needed in the days to follow. We'll be here all week, probably through uh, next Saturday or Sunday anyway. We'd like to wrap it up at that time. And while the lights and displays of 2021 are coming down, thoughts of Rotary Lights 2022 are shining bright. I just love it down here when it's Rotary Lights. And to have to wait another 11 months for us to bring it back kind of crushes my heart. Counting it down at Riverside Park, Roger Staffaroni, WXOW News 19. Now, Stephen says it was another great year regarding funds collected as well as an increase in sponsorships. He did note food donations were slightly down, but he says that was part of having to close rotary lights for two nights.